See, I'm going to talk on this subject that is chromosome non-disjunction. See, sometimes we find someone in a population having abnormal number of chromosomes. The diploid number may not be exactly that specific number, which has to be usually there. Like in human population itself, we may find certain individuals having 45 chromosomes in a diploid cell instead of 46 or 47 chromosomes or 48 chromosomes. So all such cases arise because of chromosome non-disjunction. This actually happens when one gamete having normal number of chromosome gets fused with another gamete which is having abnormal number of chromosomes like that will not have exactly the n set of chromosome that may have n plus 1 or n minus 1 uh, chromosome complement and in such situation the diploid number will have either 2n plus 1 uh, or 2n minus 1 in the individual uh, in certain individual this situation may be there so the abnormality which arise uh, because of chromosome uh, number that actually happens because of uh, chromosome non-disjunction and this happens during gamete formation. So we can understand all such things by going through this uh, video. See this non-disjunction of chromosomes occurs when pairs of homologous chromosomes or sister chromatids fail to segregate during meiosis 1 or meiosis 2 and it results into unequal distribution of chromosomes in the daughter cells that form gametes. We can have idea about such things, this particular uh, happening, that how chromosome non-disjunction takes place by going through the diagrams. See, in this diagram, you can see the way chromosomes segregate during meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Here, this one is a diploid cell. Two chromosomes are shown. Suppose one is maternal chromosome, another one is paternal chromosome. So it is a diploid cell, 2n is equal to 2. And you can say that uh, this one is a homologous pair of chromosomes. Now, before undergoing meiosis 1, each chromosome duplicates. So this chromosome is now, along with its sister chromatid, the another one is also with sister chromatids so both are having sister chromatids and uh, at one point of time these two chromosomes have to segregate to um, the dividing cells means it will actually divide and form two cells so they will get equally distributed so one chromosome that comes in this cell another one goes in another cell but both are having their sister chromatids so actually in first meiotic division itself the haploidy is gained and in second meiotic division we find that simply these two sister chromatids will be going to the either side of the pole so after the second meiotic division is complete we will have four daughter cells and each one will have a haploid set of chromosome so we started with 2n and now in daughter cells we are having n set of chromosome that is haploid set of chromosomes are there. So this is a normal pattern. See the normal meiotic division happens exactly like this in which the chromosome segregation will be in proper way and there would be equal distribution of chromosomes in the daughter cell but these chromosomes will be in haploid number. Now because of chromosome non-disjunction we will find that there will be abnormal distribution of chromosome in the daughter cells. This idea we can gain by seeing this diagram. Now in this slide you can have idea that what will exactly happen if chromosome non-disjunction occurs in meiosis 1 or in meiosis 2. See in the left side of the diagram this upper one cell is a diploid cell. Here 2n is equal to 4 because two small sized chromosomes are shown here and two large sized chromosomes are there. So total number of chromosomes present are 4. So in the daughter cells, normally two chromosomes will have to be there. That is one is small chromosome and the other long chromosome. But what we are observing 
that in first meiotic division, the upper short chromosomes are segregating normally and lower long chromosomes, these two chromosomes are going together to one side of the cell. As a consequence of this, we will have two uh, cells which will uh, be there in, you know, second meiotic division. And uh, this one will have actually the uh, short chromosomes, this upper one, and then these two long chromosomes will be there. And on the other side, only this short chromosome, single short chromosome will be present. Now, if it will be undergoing, means if this cell will undergo second meiotic division, then in the uh, daughter cells, uh, you can see what would be the consequence. This first one undergoing second meiotic division will produce two daughter cells, which will have three chromosomes. See, one short one followed by these two long chromosomes. Likewise, in another cell also, one short chromosome and then two long chromosomes will be there. And in another cell which is undergoing second meiosis, we will find only short chromosomes present. So the daughter cells, which are expected to have two chromosomes each, will have one means in 50% cases, three chromosomes will be there. In remaining 50%, only one chromosome will be there. So this will be actually n plus one condition, whereas the other one will be n minus one. So this will happen when the meiosis one experiences non-disjunction. It means because of meiosis one non-disjunction, all the four daughter gamete cells or these gametes will have abnormal number of chromosomes. Okay, and in the another case where meiosis two is shown, see these two short and long chromosomes, they are segregating normally in first meiosis. We find that the short chromosome along with its sister chromatid is going to one pole. This one is going to another pole. The long chromosomes are also segregating normally. So in meiosis one, there is normal segregation. In, in the previous case, you know, abnormal uh, disjunction was there, means uh, here you find that the long chromosomes are going together. But here in this case, there is proper first meiotic division. But the second meiotic division shows non-disjunction. See what is happening here. The upper, these two chromosomes, they are segregating normally. But the long chromosomes, these two, they should also segregate in the same manner, but they are going together to one side. And the other side of cell that is experiencing normal division, okay? So here segregation, uh, second meiotic segregation is actually uh, causing non-disjunction. So because of that, we find that uh, this particular gamete will have three chromosomes, one short one, other two long chromosomes. And in the other side, you have a single chromosome, but here the normal chromosomes are there. So you will have these four daughter cells, which actually form the gametes. They will have 50% normal gametes, whereas the remaining 50% abnormal gametes. Like in this case, the situation is N plus one. Here it is N minus one, but these two are getting haploid set of chromosomes, means they are normal. So if chromosome non-disjunction occurs in the first meiosis, then you find that all four gametes formed will be abnormal type. Whereas if it occurs in second meiosis, then it will result into only 50% of gametes showing abnormal situation, whereas the remaining 50% will be having normal type of chromosome complement. Now in this diagram, you can have idea that exactly how the abnormal types of individuals are formed because of fusion of two gametes, one being normal, other being abnormal. But in this diagram, the normal condition is shown. Suppose this is an egg and this egg, unfertilized egg having haploid set of chromosome indicated as N gets fertilized by a spermatozoon with chromosome haploid set of chromosome. So the individual form will be 2N, okay? So diploidy will be maintained in that way. But in case of uh, uh, a gamete having N uh, set of chromosome, if it gets fertilized 
or if it is being fused with another one having n plus 1, then the individual form will be 2n plus 1. So this will be a case of trisomy. And if n plus n minus 1 condition arises, then it will result into monosomy, that is 2n minus 1. Okay, and there could be conditions like uh, a double trisomy, that is 2n plus 1 plus 1. Such situations may also arise. Likewise, 2n minus 1 minus 1, that is double monosomy may also be there. Or nullisomy, that is 2n minus 2 conditions may arise. So all such things happen because of uh, uh, chromosome non-disjunction, which results into the formation of gametes having abnormal uh, types of chromosomes or abnormal number of chromosomes present in them.